ICT NCERT presents audiobook Mathematics for Economics. Page 16, Module 4, Slope of a Straight Line. 4.1 Slope of a Straight Line. Some points on the straight line x plus 3y equals 2 as represented in figure 6 are minus 1 comma 1 0 comma 2 by 3 2 comma 0 1 comma 1 by 3 and so on. Now if you decide to move from say minus 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 0 then the change in y coordinate is delta y is equal to 0 minus 1 equal to minus 1 and the change in x coordinate is delta x equals 2 minus within brackets minus 1 equals 3. This implies that the ratio of change in y coordinate to change in x coordinate delta y by delta x is equal to minus 1 upon 3. If on the other hand you decide to move from 1 comma 1 by 3 to 0 comma 2 by 3 then delta y equals 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 which equals 1 by 3 and delta x equals 0 minus within brackets 1 equaling minus 1 giving the same delta y upon delta x equals 1 by 3 upon minus 1 equals minus 1 by 3. Does it mean that the ratio of change in y coordinate to change in x coordinate remains unchanged along a straight line? The answer is yes. Every straight line has this unique characteristic. That is, if you move between any two points along the line, then the ratio delta y upon delta x remains unchanged. Where delta y equals yf minus yi is the change in value of the y coordinate and delta x equals xf minus xi is the change in the value of the x coordinate as you move from some initial point xi yi to some final point xf yf. The ratio delta y upon delta x is known as the slope of the straight line. This unique slope of a line can be calculated by choosing any point on the line as the initial point and any other point on it as the final point. Delta y is the movement in the vertical direction and is often called the rise, whereas delta x is the movement in the horizontal direction and is often called the run. The slope, delta y upon delta x, therefore is often known as the ratio of rise to run. Note that a negative value of rise is equivalent to a fall. Can slope of a straight line be not defined as well? Yes, the ratio delta y by delta x is not defined if its denominator is zero. That is, if the x coordinate of the two points on the line is same. This happens if the line is vertical. Therefore, slope is not defined for any vertical line having equation of the form x is equal to constant. A vertical line is also said to have a slope which is infinitely large in magnitude and thus slope of such line is also written as infinity. The slope of a line, if defined that is finite, could be any real number, positive, negative or zero. Point 1. A line has a positive slope if delta y and delta x have same signs. It implies that if delta x is greater than 0, then delta y is greater than 0. That is, if we move from any point on the line to its right along the line, then we move up as well. Positive slope is also known as upward slope. For example, the line y minus x is equal to minus 1 has a positive slope. Since, if we move from point 0, comma, negative 1 to rightward point 1, comma, 0 along the line, then delta y is greater than 0, implying a movement up along the line. 
along a positive sloped line, both the variables increase or decrease in value together, implying a direct relationship between them. Page 17. Point 2. A line, on the other hand, has a negative slope if delta y and delta x have opposite signs. It implies that along a line with negative slope, if we move from any point to its right, then we fall. Negative slope is also known as downward slope. For example, the line x plus 3y is equal to 2 has a negative slope as seen before. If you move towards right along the line, say from 0, 2 by 3 to 2, 0, then delta y is negative, implying a movement down along the line. Along a negatively sloped line, if one variable increases in value, then the other variable decreases in value, implying an inverse relationship between them. Point 3. A line has a zero slope only if delta y is zero. That is, y coordinate does not change as we move along the line. Constancy of y coordinate is the case with horizontal lines with the equation of the form y is equal to constant. Table 1 Different slopes of a line summarizes the discussion we've just had. This table has four columns. We will now proceed column wise. Column 1 Positive slope Delta y and delta x are of same signs. If x goes up or down, then y also goes up or down. Both variables are directly related. Figure 10a This represents a line which is uphill, rising from left to right. Both rise and run are non-zero. This graph represents the equation y minus x equals minus 1. This is an upward sloping line. Second column, negative slope. Delta y and delta x are of opposite signs. If x goes up, then y goes down and vice versa. Both variables are inversely related. Figure 10b Here, the line is downhill, falling from left to right. Both rise and run are non-zero. In the graph, the equation that is represented is x plus 3y equals 2. Downward sloping line. Column 3. Zero slope. Delta y equals 0. y doesn't change with changes in x. Both variables are unrelated. Figure 10c. The line is horizontal from left to right. There is no rise observable. This represents the equation y equals 2. Horizontal line. Column 4. Slope is undefined or infinite. Delta x equals 0. x doesn't change with changes in y. Both variables are unrelated. Figure 10 d. Line is vertical and thus no movement is observable from left to right. There is no run. This represents the equation x equals minus 3 and it is a vertical line. Page 18 An important application of the slope of a straight line in economics is the slope of a budget line. With a fixed budget, consumer can consume extra unit of a good by reducing her expenditure on another good. The slope of the budget line measures the rate at which the consumer is able to substitute good 1 for good 2 when she spends her entire budget. Consider the example of budget line in the previous section. If we move from point 0, 10 to 1, 8 in figure 8, the change in x1 will be 1 units and the change in x2 will be 2 units. Therefore, 
the ratio of change in x2 to x1 can be given as delta x2 by delta x1 is equal to minus 2 by 1 which is equal to minus 2. Similarly, if we move from point 1 comma 8 to 2 comma 6 in figure 1, the change in x1 will be 2 units and the change in x2 will be minus 4 units. Therefore, the ratio of change in x2 to x1 can be given as delta x2 by delta x1 which is equal to minus 2 by 1 which is equal to minus 2. This ratio will remain same if we move from one point to another. This ratio represents the slope of the budget line. The slope of the budget line measures the amount of change in good 2 required per unit of change in good 1 along the budget line. Since delta x1 and delta x2 have opposite signs, the slope of the budget line will be negative, which makes the budget line downward sloping. 4.3 Relation between slope of a line and shape of its graph We have seen that 1. Positively sloped line is uphill or rising from left to right. In this case, y increases as x increases and vice versa. 2. Negatively sloped line is downhill or falling from left to right. In this case, y decreases as x increases and vice versa. But different hills have different degree of their steepness. Some are steeper than others. The magnitude of slope of a line is a measure of steepness of that line. Increasing magnitude of slope means a larger magnitude of rise. Movement in the vertical direction for a given magnitude of run. Movement in the horizontal direction and therefore a higher degree of steepness. Geometrically speaking. Page 19. 1. Figure 11a. Positively sloped lines. A steeper upward sloping line makes a greater angle with the positive direction of x-axis as represented in figure 11a. Figure 11b. Negatively sloped lines. 2. A steeper downward sloping line makes a greater angle with the negative direction of x-axis as represented in figure 11b. Note that as the angle between a positively or negatively sloped line and the positive or negative direction of x-axis becomes larger, the amount of rise along the line increases for a given amount of run along the line. Page 20 In section 4.2, we discussed about the slope of the budget line using an example of a budget line equation. Let's say that the price of good 1 falls and becomes equal to rupees 1. Now, the budget equation can be written as x1 plus x2 is equal to 10. Now, we can draw this budget line on a graph by firstly finding out the solutions of this equation and then plotting them on graph to make a line. The solutions of the equation will be we have a table with 12 columns and two rows. Row 1 x1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 x2 10 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. By plotting these bundles of goods on the graph and joining them to form a straight line, 
we can get the budget line. Figure twelve. Budget line. In this figure, we have a graph with two axes. The x-axis represents good one, and the y-axis represents good two. Both the axes have been divided into five parts, representing the numbers two, four, six, eight, ten. The line drawn here represents the equation x one plus x two is equal to ten. The points on the line are ten comma zero, two comma eight, four comma six. Six comma four, eight comma two, zero comma ten. The slope of this budget line will be delta x two by delta x one, which is equal to minus one by one, which is equal to minus one. Now compare Figure nine and Figure twelve. The budget line drawn in Figure nine is steeper. Than the budget line drawn in Figure Twelve. This is due to the magnitude of slope of the budget line. The slope of budget line drawn in Figure Nine is minus two, while the slope of the budget line drawn in Figure Twelve is minus one. Since the magnitude of slope of budget line drawn in Figure Nine is more than the slope of the budget line drawn in Figure Twelve, the former Has a steep slope. Page twenty one. Test your understanding. Refer back to test your understanding question in module three. A. How many units of milk can Kabir exchange for each cookie? Also, draw his budget line. B. How many units of milk can Kabir exchange for each cookie if the price of cookies? Rises to rupees ten per unit. Draw his new budget line and compare it with the original budget line. C. What happens to Kabir's budget line if cookies are available in the market for free? Module four ends here. Happy listening. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject coordinator, Dr. Jaya Singh. Production assistant Jagbandhu Jana, sound recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan, artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja, produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary, and presented by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.